So are you struggling to get a huge pet in Pet Simulator 99? I'm here to help. So you guys may know, I have a lot of huge pets. For example, I have like a really good one right here. This is a rainbow huge balloon cat, which costs 20,000 Robux in Pet Simulator X. And it's signed by Preston. Oh, and you know, I have a ton of other huges. Um, I actually don't have all of them. A lot of them are still back in Pet Simulator X. Wait, I should probably bring them to Pet Simulator 99, but I'll do that in a little bit because I got to show you guys how to get a huge pet pretty easily. So let's go with uh, step one, hatching the eggs right here. So you want to hatch these so you can get the best pet, but then the best pet, I mean, look at this. This is this is pretty rare, right? And also like hatching these, you need a rank up so you can open up a lot of eggs like this. And it's kind of hard to get lucky and you need a lot of coins. So let me show you guys the best method. So of course you need to go to the last area, guys. And if you don't have the last area, then you have to like grind to it because this is the only like really good way to get coins. It's literally the last area, right? And you don't even need the best pets in the world, but there's something really, really important that you should have. Enchants, everybody. So here's like my diamond setup. Let's go ahead and remove this. We can show you guys a better setup that you can use. So if you want to get more coins, of course, get the coins five book. Um, what other things do we have? We have, we have the fireworks thing we can break stuff with. I guess we can use that. And also if you have like a strength book, like this one, this is exotic pet. This is kind of hard to get, but increases my pet strength by 150. By the way, I know like my books are way better than you might have because I'm really pay to win. I'm not trying to flex, right? So yeah, just try to get anything that could give you something better in the game. And I also have these ones. And remember, these stack. So I might have this coins five one. Do I have like a coins four? I do. We can place this and then also get these right here. And then look, I'm going to get so many coins because these all stack, right? So it's going to be really, really overpowered. And also make sure to get to the max rank, guys. Because look, I have rank eight right now. So you guys want to get to at least like seven or eight. But anyways, go ahead and pull out some pets. And I won't pull out all of them because I know I have 69. Oh, I can pull out 69. <laughs> let's just get some pets. Let's just get the ones that we have. Um, Let's get like some ninja mascots, okay? Let's equip a few of these. Oh my goodness, I'm going to equip so many of them. That should be good. I just put 51, right? And then we just go to auto farm and then auto tap. And look at this. Look how many coins we're making now, guys. And it's going to be more than enough coins to get you through. And we can't forget the boosts. Um, I have some really over overpowered ones. We'll just use regular ones, right? So we can kind of have like a, a clear comparison. As you guys can see, we're making a ton of coins right now. This is insane. Oh, we're about to break this. How many coins am I going to get from this? Oh, look at that. All right, perfect. And then once, of course, you get enough coins. Um, also, make sure to change your enchants to like the lucky eggs. So you can get way better stuff. And then you start opening up these, right? And then after you get like a good amount, you can just AFK, you guys. You don't have to be like on your screen. You can just auto hatch it. If you have the game pass, of course. But if you don't, then just get like an auto clicker. And once you get enough pets, go over here to the fusing machine. And then to get the very, very best pet, you guys need to get... Uh, let's see. Okay, we're not gonna do the shinies. All right, so we gotta go to the ninja mascot. Okay, this is gonna be the fusing. So we're gonna go ahead and put... 20. Then once we fuse 20. All right. Nope. We got to try that again. We got to get a better pet. There we go. We got the cyborg dominus. And now this is literally like the best pet in the game. And now that we go here. Yep. It's literally like, oh, it's not the best one because it's not a shiny like this. My ninja cat is a rainbow shiny, but we finally have the cyborg dominus. And then what you want to do is just get as many as you can of these. There we go. We got another one. Perfect. And then you basically just want to keep fusing and fusing until you can get like so many of these cyborg dominuses. And then what you're going to do with those. So here we are in the train plaza. And this is what you to make their gems. Look, there's already someone selling these for like 15,000. You know what? I'm gonna go try ahead and do that, okay? We're gonna try to sell for 15,000. Look, we have 3,000 gems, guys. Look, I, I went poor for the video, y'all. I'm broke. So let's go ahead, make a listing. And where can I find my cyborg dominus? right here let's go ahead and put one of course i don't have way more but let's just go ahead and put 15k and there we go so now we have our cyborg dominance for 15,000 gems i'm gonna say uh, someone someone please buy my pet don't please buy my pet yo come on buy my pet i know you want to buy my pet come on oh there we go someone just bought my pet for 15,000 gems and there we go we just made some profit and then also you can sometimes find pretty good deals like a thousand of these units right you could probably find and then try to like make even more but just if if, if what i just told you guys works do that and then you'll be able to find like a pretty good deal on a huge pet it might be a little bit difficult i mean like this is three million gems for a huge grinch cat or like two million for the huge mrs claus so yeah you guys gotta do quickly with that because the prices of pets are gonna go higher so you guys better get those gems oh and also sometimes you get something really good from the spinny wheel so let's get something from here and see if we get anything good oh what is that? Strong Pets 3. Okay. You know, sometimes having good enchantments are pretty good if you want to sell them as well. But let's say like your pets are way, way too weak, right? And you can't realistically go to the last area and then just start fusing pets like crazy. So you want to get gems. Okay. Before I show you that. So let's let's say you are really, really strong. Okay. Before we go to the easy one. So we can go over here to the fire dojo. So let's say like you are strong. You got really, really good pets. Then you go to your enchants and you want to invest into a better enchantment. Like for example, the diamond, uh, diamond five. But you are going to need some lucky blocks. Okay. You need lucky blocks like this. 
this. And I guess another diamond five book. And then of course the magnet book. So this is really, really important. Okay. And then you're going to just bring out your best pets that you can. And then you start farming. And then basically what these lucky blocks do, the lucky block books, these will spawn these. And these are really, really good for gems. Okay. It's probably, you also need to like be able to have a diamonds potion too. Because if you don't, then it's going to be a lot more difficult. Yeah. As you can see, I'm getting thousands of gems and it's pretty easy because you can just kind of AFK it. And then it just does the job for you. But if you want to break the, the lucky block, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I'm getting so many gems from this and it's just barely doing anything. Well, what if someone wants to get like a huge pet from like the dig site over here? Well, let me tell you something. Only four exist and there's a reason. The percentages of getting this pet is very, very low. Like we have Cassie over here, which is like who uh, leaked this, how the heaven area actually looks like. So I think she got some like legitimate percentages. The huge fossil dragon uh, is like chest 0%, chest 2, 0%, chest 3, 0%, chest 4, 0.0000133%. And chest 5 is 0. 0.0000002%. Yeah, that's just... This is too rare. I'd rather play the lottery, okay? So, yeah, that's uh, impossible. But another way to get good gems is you can come over here and... Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I know you're gonna be saying in the comments like, oh my gosh, the Gino, that's pay to win. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it's pay to win, but it's really the only way if your pets are not really, really strong. You're gonna have to come over here and just, of course, just get your pets out and then, I don't know, just place like a diamond flag right in the middle, just like that, and then let your pets farm. Your pets are gonna farm right here and you can get lots of gems. And actually, I'm getting pretty good gems from this. Just bring my pets real quick. They do the job for me. And look at that. Yeah, that wow. It actually makes a lot of gems. In fact, here, I don't think I need my lucky blocks because I don't think they spawn. So we can just remove these lucky blocks and then just make it full diamond just like that. And then I'm going to make like a crazy amount of diamonds. So yeah, those are the ways. And then you can also get VIP rewards. It's actually really, really good. VIP is actually a pretty insane thing. But I don't know how long this is going to be the method. So make sure to collect stuff like potions and like um, enchants because people will buy them okay they will buy them in the trade positive you can also like fuse them to level them up because you can actually fuse like enchants and stuff or also upgrade potions so you have better potions you can sell them the training plaza so as you can see i'm upgrading my enchants right here let's get a let's get a let's get a tap power five yeah let's get that real quick okay easy peasy and just like that i have a brand new overpowered book and also you can claim the free potions like this we're gonna go to the merchant and just buy stuff from the merchant guys because sometimes once in a while there's gonna be some really really good stuff and also there's like an advanced merchant where's the advanced merchant right here and look that there's some coins look that's a coins three book that's actually really really good because then you can upgrade it make it a coins four get more coin four books and then make it coins five so yeah guys you can do that and then go to the trading plaza again and then try to sell stuff because you know books are actually very very valuable especially you have like something like uh like for whatever reason let's say you just have like a lucky block book for just no reason at all right you can come over here and we can open up booth and then we can try to sell it and there's gonna be just that one person that will buy it let's just sell this for like six hundred thousand okay we sell this for six hundred thousand Let's see if anybody's interested in buying my lucky block book. You know, I should probably get a different booth. Let's get, like, let's get the VIP booth. This one looks better. Yeah, there we go. Now I look really cool. Oh, wait, someone's interested in... Oh, there we go. Someone just bought it for 600,000 gems. Chicken Park 9898. Let's go. And there you guys have it. And once you build up enough gems, you'll be able to buy your own huge pet. Oh, look, this noob just said, sub to the Gito. I agree. I agree with this. So yeah, like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.